Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Titinayo, I mean this is your first time seeing me on your screen or stopping by on my channel. It is very nice to meet you, you are welcome. If this is not your first time, welcome back. Today's video, as you can tell from the title, is going to be a foundation review video and I'm going to be reviewing a foundation that I recently picked up from Too Faced and this is their Burn This Way foundation. So for those of you who do not know, Too Faced recently had a collaboration with Auntie Jackie here on YouTube where she helped them to expand the shade range for their very very popular Bond This Way foundation. The aim of collaboration was to extend the shade range just to make sure that the line actually catered more for people of color, women of color and people with deeper skin tones and I just want to say congratulations to both Too Faced and Jackie for this collaboration. You guys did an amazing job. I think like on Jackie's part for a beauty influencer, I think the end goal or like the aim is always to, you know, be able to give your advice to companies and for companies to also be able to take that advice and actually put it to work. And for everyone who knows Jackie, she always wants people, especially women of color, to be included in shade ranges. For women of color, a lot, a lot of the times with a lot of brands, we end up being like the afterthought. So it's like, I'm going to release this product now and then when they react, then I'll release the other shade. No shade intended. Jackie has just made her platform that place to, you know, go against those type of standards. That's why I actually fell in love with her channel. It was really nice to see somebody actually stick up for you in a sense and say things to brands that you necessarily didn't have the access to. And I also congratulate to this as well because it's a huge thing for a brand also to see that they need work somewhere and actually get the advice that they need. A lot of companies would come for Jackie just because she's like, okay, maybe you could have included this or maybe you included that. But for Too Faced to see the bigger picture and actually understand that it's not like she's just throwing shade, it's also because, you know, she's trying to help and actually get the help that they needed. Amazing. So I went off camera to um, moisturize, prime, as well as do my brow. So the moisturizer I used today is my Cetaphil um, moisturizing lotion. And once that was dry, I went in with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Protective Primer. And then I used that to prime my face and then I did my brows. And now I'm going to be going in with the foundation. And so the foundation shade I picked up is the one in Truffle. And um, I did this because that was my Sephora Color IQ shade. And I couldn't go into the Sephora store to get it directly just because they didn't have it for a very long time. And even when they did, they didn't get the tester. So eventually they would have just had to use my Color IQ anyway. So I just did it online myself. So I don't know how this foundation is going to look on my skin tone. I think. Um, with the swatch I did on my hand, it might be a little too dark, but we're going to see what we're going to see. Let's just see what the foundation says it's going to do. So, um, it says it's infused with coconut water to aid delicately replenishing, to aid in delicately replenishing skin's moisture levels. Um, it has alpine rose to help brighten up the skin's radiance and hydro, hyd, hyd, sorry, hyaluronic acid for a smoother, more youthful appearance. So it says this is an oil-free foundation, important because I do have oily skin. An oil-free foundation masterfully, the masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin. Hmm. The coverage is so undetectable and skin is so naturally flawless that you think you were born this way, obviously. So it says it's hydrating, long-wearing, photo-friendly and non-comedogenic. I have no idea what that word means. Let's Google it. So it says comedogenic means um, it's an additive for things that tend to cause blackheads by blocking the pores in the skin. So it says that this foundation will do that. And 100% 100 of people said the foundation blurred out their imperfections. 100% said the foundation made the skin look absolutely perfect. And 97% said the foundation provided natural coverage. And it's supposed to help, you know, make my skin pretty much look like my skin but better so i'm just going to go in with the foundation and like i mentioned i'm in the shade or i got the shade truffle so that's what we're going to be using so that's what the packaging looks like i actually really like the matte finish of the packaging and i'm just going to start off with one pump and then work with that all over my face and then see if i need the extra coverage so i'm going to take a uh, Foundation brush and just dab that all over. Oh, na na na, oh na 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 na. 
So on my face, this is looking kind of orangey, but let's see how that blends out though. I don't know how it's looking off camera, but on the mirror it looks a little just a tad bit lighter on my face. Anytime I see her, she call me papi, call me papi, she my mama sita. The more that girls, the more that girls, they just wanna be her. I love you forever, yeah, woo me. Baby, but like dummy, see la. Shorty, find no need, conceal her. My girl, my girl, my girl. Okay, guys, so that's what it looks like with just one car. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, I can't see where the foundation starts and where it ends. It does look like skin, which is amazing. Freaking amazing. So this is, I think this is gonna be a medium pocket for me. So I'm going to go in with um, another one and a half pump and just put that all over my face to kind of work it in and build up the coverage. Let's see how that builds up. And y'all, this foundation is very, very very creamy like feels like butter on your skin i don't want no more you make me smile like crazy i want you all the time no waiting no so i don't think i needed another one and a half to build up the coverage but probably one would have been better so I think for our full coverage, you probably need about two pumps. So now that that's all blended in, I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender sponge, kind of dip that into the rest of the foundation, and just use that to press this in, just to further work in that foundation into the skin. And this will help get rid of excess foundation as well. So next up, I'm going to go in with the concealer. I picked up the concealer in the shade Puffy. It claims to be a super coverage, multi-use sculpting concealer. It says it can be used for concealing, uh, for concealing, contouring, highlighting, and retouch. So it's infused with coconut water to delicately replenish the skin's moisture levels. It also has alkaline rose again to brighten the skin's appearance and promote elasticity and hyaluronic acid for a smoother, more useful looking appearance. So um, again, this is hydrating, long wearing, photo friendly and non comedogenic and um, it covers contours, highlights and retouches with um, Contour, cover contour highlight and we got the super perfecting natural finish concealer slash makeup hybrid the ultimate multi-use formula for a modern and hydrated photo ready complexion so it says it's fully loaded with pigments to provide maximum coverage with an undetectable finish for it looks so flawless that you'll think you would want this way that's what it looks like in the tube again it has this matte finish which is simply Simply amazing, and it does have the dome. And I'm just going to use what's on that, and I'm going to apply that on the areas where you should highlight. I get this feeling inside when I'm around you, and if I did. So I don't know how much of this to go in with, so I'm just going to try and use what I have around that brush head first, and then I'll go in with more if needed. So going in again with that damp beauty blender sponge, I'm just going to start blending this out. That looks good. You like blend it right into the front, right into the foundation. The coverage is very, very high on this because I didn't even use a lot at all. Alright guys, so here's what we have after um, highlighting with that. I'm also going to take the same concealer very quickly and I'm going to use it to carve out my brows. And I'm going to use the foundation on top of my brows to carve it up, to carve it at the top. 
Hi right, guys, so here's what that looks like. Uh, my eyebrows are carved out and I also applied a little bit of that concealer onto my lids just to get rid of the dark appearance. So now I'm going to go into actually, you know, um, set the concealer and finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm done with the rest of my makeup and here's what it currently looks like. I absolutely love how this looks like skin. It's so amazing. So the time currently is 9.27. And I'm currently on my way to church. The weather is um, the weather is kind of scheduled to be a little warm today, so it's currently 20 degrees. Highest temperature today is supposed to be 24 degrees. So we're gonna see how this foundation holds up for the entire day. Um, the humidity is supposed to be 97 percent, which is super crazy. I'll be coming in to check in with you guys. I'll be doing some check-ins throughout the day just to show you guys how it's holding up and what my thoughts are. But currently, just after putting it on, I absolutely love this foundation and it certainly, certainly looks like skin, which is amazing. And I don't know. It's just so flawless. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys as soon as possible. Alright guys, so I'm just doing a quick little check-in with you guys. It's really quick because the time is just 9.36, so I haven't had makeup on for long, but I just wanted you guys to see how it looked like in natural daylight without the um, lights and everything. So that's what it looks like. Alright guys, so I just got out of church and I'm here for another check-in. So the time currently is 12.46 and here's what my foundation down looks like. So I can see a little bit of oil speaking through, which you know, for my skin type, which is really oily, isn't really, really surprising. But um, I think so far it hasn't started, like the makeup hasn't started to separate yet. It's still looking pretty different. So yeah, I think I'm going to hold on for another three hours and then we'll come back and see what it looks like then. But so far, here's what it looks like. And yeah, it's only my bacon. All right guys, so I am back for my final check-in and my overall thoughts on this concealer as well as foundation combo. So the time right now is 9.40 and here is what my face looks like. So as you can see, I do definitely have a lot of oil speaking through. Um, especially around my T-zone area, but I do have like, you know, overall shine on my face, which, you know, is expected. I think the oils really started to break through around the six hour mark. Um, I put this foundation on and I finished doing my makeup around like 9.20 in the morning. So I have had this makeup on for over 12 hours. So here's what it looks like and honestly, not bad but this isn't exactly i would say this is the best 12 hour wear i've gotten from foundation before so my fancy beauty foundation does stay up a little more you know put together with a little less shine throughout the entire day so for like 12 hours my fancy beauty won't shine as much but what i have to say about that is that fancy beauty does um advertise itself as a mattifying foundation whereas this one doesn't so I feel like for a foundation that isn't a mattifying foundation this has done an entirely entirely good job also this foundation doesn't say exactly how many hours it's good for but I would say that it should be good for about six to eight hours because that was when I really started to see like the oil speaking through but the good thing is like I never saw the foundation actually separate from any part of my face which usually happens with other foundations that I own so I'm really really happy about that like you can kind of still see my makeup looks to put together in a sense like you can still see my blush and my contour line and on a normal day that wouldn't be feasible at all just because it would have all separated up on my face but i do like how this held up um it did oxidize so i do look a little lighter than i did in the morning and obviously the part of that put on my neck is all removed now so my face and my neck don't look the same but when you compare it to my chest it's still kind of a bit of it still has like a really good color match so the oxidization and the foundation is always matched to my chest instead of my neck so the oxidization isn't as bad um my main con with this would be the oils and i really don't blame this foundation because it is not again a mattifying foundation it is a hydrating foundation on the other hand so i guess i just need to amp up with my mattifying or oil control priming and like you know base whenever i decide to use this foundation just so it can help to keep those oils 
I beg. Overall, the foundation is a really good foundation. I would recommend it if you have dry skin. If you have oily skin, I would recommend you get a really, really good um, all control primer to use with this foundation because that would really help to, you know, keep the longevity of the foundation. So moving on to the concealer, um, the concealer did actually state on the Sephora website that it was good to last for about 12 hours. So here's what the concealer looks with about 12 hours of wear and I would say like on certain areas of my face, especially like on my forehead, I feel like the concealer stayed put, like it didn't move. But then on um, the under parts of my eyes, I can see that it moved a little bit. And that might have something to do with the fact that I do have a lot of um, bags under my eyes. So I have like a little bit of creasing, but not as much as I would get with my Ellie Girl Pro Concealer, which is like my go-to concealer at the moment. So I do have creasing under my eyes, but not terrible. So I think it's like a little mindful and with a little, you know, pattern with a beauty blender, I could possibly, you know, go for another couple of hours with this concealer. Um, like I mentioned, I am a little oily, so I do have like a lot of oil speaking through. But once I like dab the oils off, the concealer is like still put under that so I feel like this concealer is very 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 powerful like it stays on it's freaking amazing I absolutely love this concealer like absolutely absolutely love the concealer I also put a little bit of concealer on my eyes and even though I do have a bit of creasing just because obviously it wasn't really set with enough powder um, I feel like it's not as much as I would get with other concealers that I usually use. So this is freaking amazing. So overall for the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation and the concealer, I absolutely love this duo. They would be a staple in my kit. So what I do have to say is that I would definitely recommend this product. You can splurge on these products if you have dry skin and if you want to get the most out of it if you have oily skin then please make sure to get a base so you don't just go wasting your money or go you know getting annoyed at the foundation or getting annoyed at the concealer for being oily when you really think like you know advertise to control oil. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you'd like to ask more questions about these products that you think I didn't touch in the video then please make sure to leave those in the comment section down below. If you have any thoughts, comments or you know anything you'd like to share about these products let me know what your tricks are when using these products or if there are any dupes for these products down in the description bar below and if you're not already subscribed to my channel honey I just wore foundation for 12 hours for you. I'm smart. I'm loyal. Appreciate me, hunty. Hit the subscribe button down below, okay? Okay? Do it for me. Do it for the fact that I wanted to take off this foundation for the past almost six hours, but I did it for the, I did it for two. Okay? Please subscribe. Alright? And I will see you all in my next video, God willing. Bye-bye.